What's up, YouTube? Today, I've got a very exciting but not standard Modern Builds episode. The other day, I was at Home Depot in the finish aisle and I saw this box from a company called Prevail, or Preval, and it said that you can turn any paint into spray paint. Now, I had never heard of this before and I wanted to let you all know about it. I also wanted to try, because if it sucks, I don't want you guys to waste your time or money. And if you're a fan of Modern Builds, then you know that I've got the color Breezeway all around my house. My front door, my kitchen cabinets, and a bunch of other stuff. And if I'm being honest, I want it on more. And the first thing that I'm gonna be testing this Preval system on is this desk lamp. I've had it stored outside a little while. It's definitely a little beat up. And I really like the lamp. It's just seen better days. So I'm gonna start by masking off everywhere that I need to. That way I can still turn it on and then load up this system with some paint. Now we will prevail. Now we will Preval. Just center that. Okay, here we go. Let's see if that works. I also made sure to mask off all of the integral components like the USB and the light itself. And make sure you've got a sharp razor blade when you do this. Then I can open up my gallon of Breezeway. All right, I've got my makeshift funnel. Let's hope this works. Uh, no, the funnel was a horrible idea. Dang it. Oh, it's still pouring out. It's gonna overfill. I'm gonna take the funnel back. I recommend also getting a funnel from the Home Depot. Said never shake it with the paint on there. Test on a piece of scrap. Yeah, right. Avoid spraying in eyes. Check. Looks like we're ready. Fingers crossed. And spoiler alert, I should have thinned my paint down. You'll see sure. why. I want to shake it so bad right now because it's not working. That's like what you do. Oh no. Do you see this? Avoid, do not. So clearly I was not holding this at a 90 or 45 degree angle now that I'm watching back this footage. And that really does matter. I really don't know what the deal is here. It keeps coming out of this. It's starting to come out. Is this what we should be expecting though? That's very underwhelming. I don't know what's going on. It would really suck if this video ends here. I don't know if there's something wrong with this. I did accidentally shake it for just a second. There's a tiny chance that that's what's wrong here. I just took the little strainer off of the tube. Hopefully that helps. We might have to thin this paint down a little bit though. Don't shake. Don't shake. I really wish they would let us know why there's this notch and if it needs to be up or down or facing the side. The power unit is vented and therefore spraying between a 90 degree and 45 degree angle is required or the unit will not work. Understood. Okay, here we go. 90 degrees. Maybe this paint is a little too thick. You think? The nice thing about latex based paint is you just thin it out with water. So I'm gonna give that a try right away. We've thinned the paint. We're holding it at the right angle. It seems to be working better, actually. This still might suck. We're gonna find out, but at least we can paint this lamp. I applied a few coats and remembered to thin it out a little bit more each time. And as you can see, I started to get a really good spray where the paint was atomizing like it should. What I found out is you have to thin the paint the right amount. Between coats, I experimented, and if it's too thick, it won't spray, and if it's too thin, it'll spray, but immediately run. But by experimenting, you'll find that sweet spot. Overall, I applied three coats of paint, and I let it cure overnight before I took the paint off. Perfect. Booyah! High pressure. Looks like I bought it that way. I love it. And there you have it. Let's move on to the next item we have to paint. Table legs might be the most common DIY application I could think of for this whole spraying system. Now these are the semi-exact spider legs designed by my buddy Chris Salamone from Four Ice Furniture. They're a beautiful white color, but we're about to make them breeze way. We've thinned our paint another 20%, so hopefully that's not too much, but we will see if this helps everything level out and spray easier. 
Oh my gosh. That's how it's supposed to work. Still a little bit of texture, but the amount of coverage we're getting is next level. We will prevail. I really found my groove on these legs and I got a perfect finish. Check out how great these legs look on this media console. Oh, and if you wanna build one, I've got a link to the tutorial down below. I know Breezeway is not the most colorful color, but the last thing I need to paint before we get to the bright colors is the ceiling fan for my living room. There's another box in the box. I'll make sure to show the Amazon listing right here. I really like the wooden fan blades, but might as well make the white part Breezeway. I don't think I've ever heard of someone having a custom colored fan, so I think this will make really good use of the Preval sprayer. At this point in the day, I was a certified pro with the Preval sprayer. I mixed up the right amount of water into my paint and got a really nice finish. And just like with regular spray paint, it's better to do a few light coats rather than one heavy coat. Like I just said, we do not want runs. And after it was dry, I just needed to install it. The wooden fan blades look so cool. And next to the stark white on the ceiling, you can see how nice a subtle pop of color is. Super pro. And now we are done painting with Breezeway. The next color we're using is Safety Orange. Oh, this is gonna be a lot easier to see. All right, I don't have a funnel. Eesh. Hopefully the small can will work better than the big one. Yes. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna save a little bit of room for water. There's a reason they call it 1-800-SUPER-PRO. I found that mixing four parts paint to one part water worked great for standard latex wall paint. And this hand would be a perfect example to show how this product works on something with contours. Although I didn't predict that this would look exactly like Cheeto fingers. <laughs> the trick is you wanna start at vertical if your paint is just a little too thick like mine is. And a really cool thing is that this orange shows the speckling that you're gonna get on your first coat really well. As you can see, there's a little bit of speckling and some white showing through, but if I put any more paint down, it for sure would have rained. So this looks great. The tricky thing with this is you really need to keep it vertical or at 90 degrees. You can't really go sideways with it, unfortunately, but we'll figure out how to get into all the grooves. And if you ever lose your spray, just hold it vertical until it starts back and then you can move with it. You just gotta get the suction going. Now I'm gonna go a little sideways. Ah, never do that. I did it again. Oh man. <laughs> and we're gonna let this coat dry. Golly. <laughs> and we will be right back after a word from our sponsor. If you need a website, an online store, or just a custom domain, Squarespace is your one-stop shop. And the best part is, is you need zero website building experience. I'm serious, if you can upload files and drag and drop text blocks, you are well on your way to a one-of-a-kind site. Squarespace's designer templates look great on desktop, tablet, and mobile, no matter where customers find you, and they are packed with tons of great features, like no limits to the number of products that you can sell using a Squarespace store, the Video Studio mobile app that allows you to create high-level professional content for your website and social media, and don't forget member areas where you can package premium content behind a paywall, charging your members a monthly subscription fee. So to learn more, make sure and follow my link in the description that's squarespace.com slash modern builds, where you can build out your entire Squarespace site before entering any of your credit card info. And then when it's time to make your website live, don't forget to use my code, modern builds. One more huge thanks to Squarespace for continuing to sponsor modern builds content. Now let's get back to painting. And y'all know, I paint my tools all the time. I just figure when I'm not doing a brand deal, I might as well look at a pretty yellow color instead of like highlighter red. It's just nicer for me to use day to day and I like the way it looks on camera. And speaking of highlighter tools, DeWalt sent me these not long ago and they're the only DeWalt tools that I have. So we're gonna be painting these baby blue. Let's do it. Perfect, cool. I have so much paint on my hand. This is, today is a messy day. When I mixed this, I didn't add enough water to begin with, and you can see it just spraying a little bit. But after that, I went back to the tried and true, four parts paint, one part water, mix ratio, and got killer results. 
I did mask off some of the integral parts on each of the tools, but I've never painted a tool and had it go bad on me for that reason. Works. <laughs> Either way, to the tool brands listening, make some nice colored tools and I'll buy them. I'm sure a lot of other people would too. And this trash can is the whole reason I'm making this video to begin with. Basically, when you paint something that's usually never a custom color, that's an easy way to trick people into thinking a space is extra cool. And trash cans are really one of those things that I've never seen customized. I masked off the motion sensor and the black plastic and I sprayed a coat of white primer to make sure I got good bondage to this stainless steel. This was the final test for this Preval system and I couldn't be happier with the results. Ah! Don't break stuff. Dang it, ruined the paint job already. I'm very excited about having an automatic trash can. We are in the future. Not bad. Having a custom trash can the exact same color as your kitchen cabinets is a first for me, and hopefully other people think it's neat or interesting when they're using my trash or recycling. So my thoughts on the Preval sprayer. It's definitely worth it. For the price, it's a great value. Just be sure to thin your paint down a little bit. And looking back, I should not have worried about the texture that I was getting when I sprayed because it all self-leveled perfect. If you buy one of these and use it on a project, make sure and tag me at Modern Builds. I would love to see, and we'll see you next time on Modern Builds. Bye everybody. <laughs> Teeth in the tongue, tips of the lips. I know, I wonder what I would have done if this product was just horrible. I've never made a video where I just bash a company, but now that we've provolved,